Hello and welcome to the first in a series of orientation videos designed to help students in speech science and in voice diagnostics learn how to use the TF32 uh, acoustic software tool. Uh, once you've double clicked on the software you'll get an image that looks something like this. This is basically a Windows based program and so uh, many of the Windows features are included in this so that you have a series of drop-down menus at the top. Later videos will talk about some of the options in each of these menus. But the first thing we want to do is, is to load a file, a sound file, so that we can then do some basic visualization and manipulation. So we go to the files open um, and we look around and what you do is you go and look and find a sound file that you're interested in uh, displaying. And in this case I'm going to select a file called darksuit.wave and if you hit open you can see that we have a two panel display the top panel is the sound pressure waveform uh, in green over gray and then below the black and white uh, image is a wideband spectrogram and there are a number of different display formats that you can use in TF32 uh, for the time being we're going to focus on the sound pressure waveform display and as a result I'm going to uh, close the spectrogram display and to do that I go to the view portion of the menu and click on time freak A which refers to the spectrogram and you'll get a window that looks like this I will click on um, mark the box at close TF hit OK and now we're down to the single display Now, the uh, waveform can be uh, played, you can actually listen to it, by simply either uh, going to the play option here and select uh, interval or to end, or we have a quick button here that simply will play the, uh, uh, the sample with a single click of the button. So I'm going to click the, the play button and so you can hear what the uh, sample is. She had your dark suit in greasy wash water all year. So as you can hear uh, that is the sample that we've rec um, we have on file and um, one of the things that is most common that you're going to want to do is to optimize the display so that you can see the waveform in the best amount of resolution. And there are two things that we can control independently in the display. One is the amplitude of the waveform and we control that by simply using this little up and down arrows here in this portion of the menu. So if I press this button it will make the signal smaller overall just by scaling it in a simple scale down. If I want to zoom it and make the amplitude larger I press the up button and you can make it as large or small as you want. I suggest that you would make these adjustments so that the uh, waveform fits and maximizes the um, range of the display. Another thing that you're probably interested in doing is wanting to be able to expand or zoom in on portions of the speech sample so that you can look at the waveform characteristics in more detail. And that's going to involve zooming in um, or expanding the time scale so that you can see portions of the utterance. And in order to do that you're going to have to make use of um, the cursor system that TF32 has. And a cursor is just simply a marker that you can place on this panel. If you place the, uh, la the mouse in a spot where you want to place a cursor and then hit the left button of the mouse, you'll see that a vertical white line appears. And if you look at the top of this white line, you'll notice that there's a little hook off to the left. That denotes to you that that is the left cursor. We can also place a right cursor we, to do that we have to go to the right of the left cursor and find a spot um, that we might want to 
uh, look more closely at and click the left mouse button again and now we've introduced another vertical white line which is the right cursor denoted again by now this time a right hook in the uh, at the top. Now we can use the left and the right cursor and you can click and drag those cursors to find a portion of speech sample that we want to look at in more detail. And once we've ex uh, captured a region of interest, we can then go and take our um, cursor to the, or the our mouse up to the upper right, and if you click on the down arrow, it will time expand so that you can zoom in around that region of interest. Now you can make as many zooms as you'd like, so we can encapsulate another section with our cursors, hit the down arrow again, and can continue to look more and more carefully or to get finer and finer time resolution to look at the regions of interest. Now if you want to compress back out to look at a larger region of, of the speech sample, you can go to the upper right and use the up arrow which will expand back to your original scale. Now once you are expanded in on a particular region, you can also continue to look at other parts of the uh, speech sample without having to uh, compress back out. If you look up here you have a small box between a left and a right arrow button and that box shows you relatively where the uh, window is in the overall file itself. So you can drag this along and look at upcoming segments in the file itself. You can also use the arrow button alternatively to move this around. So those are some simple ways of being able to display different aspects of the uh, sound file in enough detail so that you might be able to then make some basic kinds of measurements. And that will be the focus of the next video. But before I move on, I do want to mention that if you then want to move or go to a different file, you can then go to Files Open and open that file as you wish. Or if you have multiple files within a certain folder, you can just simply use um, the next previous buttons, which will then allow you to toggle through through a series of different files that happen to be in that folder. So for example, if you had a folder with a whole set of sound files from a particular client, you can just very quickly cycle through each of them and find the one that you're interested in. It's important to note that the name of the file is in the bottom left hand corner and so that you can always check to see to make sure that you have the right file that you uh, to find the file that you are looking for.